Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Yes, we are very late today, um, almost almost 3 o'clock. We are uh, very, very busy <laughs> during the noon hour today. We couldn't get on the air, so I waited until it calmed down a bit to do the do a program today. Um, the uh, When I sent out last month's email, I had mentioned in there that uh, purple finches are starting to be reported across uh, the area and boy I started getting questions um, how do you tell the, the, the two apart I, I read your article on uh, in on the website but could you do a program on it because that way you'll have pictures and you can kind of point the differences out that you're talking about so well, that's a really good idea it is one of the classic uh, confusing uh, bird IDs out there for, for people especially for people who feed birds uh, the other downy ver woodpecker versus hairy woodpecker, and we'll do one on that later. And also uh, pine siskins versus goldfinches versus female house finches. So we want to do one on that too. So, but today I thought we would uh, cover the house finches versus the purple finches. Why is this a confusing thing? Well, if you've fed birds for a long time in Missouri, um, you know that uh, you only used to see the, the one of these birds in the winter time. The purple finches used to invade here uh, during the winter months and they would be part of your bird feeding scenario in some years uh, but you never saw them in spring or summer or even early fall because they didn't they don't nest here purple finches are northern nesters um, but the house finches which never nested here historically started moving into our area in the late 80s, early 90s is when we really started seeing their, their numbers really pick up from here. And it's a kind of an interesting story. The birds were um, uh, reluctant to move. You know, they were native to the desert southwest of North America. House finches, scientific name used to be Carpodocus mexicanus, which me mexicanus tells you they were a desert southwest bird. And they were uh, held to that area. They were uh, down there because they couldn't cross the Great Plains. Um, there were too dry conditions. They couldn't survive and cross those Great Plains. And so they were traditionally just down there in the southwest. Well, people liked the song that house finches sang. And they used to sell them as cage birds back in the 1800s. They called them Hollywood finches. And uh, they sold a lot of them in places like New York City and up and down the East Coast. Well, whenever we finally made it illegal to trap wild birds and keep them as pets, people who owned those had to let them go. And they let enough of these house finches go, in the, especially in the New York City area, in the, in the Northeast, that they were able to establish a breeding population and, and expand to the West. Well, about the same time this is going on, we're urbanizing the Great Plains. So what used to be just wide open uh, prairies and plains uh, that the birds couldn't cross became spotted with cities and towns uh, over the years and these birds were able to uh, jump and make their way to the east. So we had birds moving from the east to the west and west to the east and they met up in Kansas and, and Missouri where these two birds, they were the two same birds but they came together, these two populations came together. So we started, and they nest here, so we started seeing them nesting here which was confusing. For everybody that knew purple finches as only winter birds so now we have to confuse that figure out how to, to tell them apart and we and it's usually easy to say well you know purple finches are much brighter and huskier and and uh, you only see them in winter if you see them here in summer then you know it's got to be a house finch but let's get into the more details of it love this picture picture taken by a friend of mine lisa owens took this at her feeders and this this feeder picture all actually has a male purple finch, the big one up front here, um, and then two house finches in the tray. We've got a classic red house finch uh, over on the right, and this one in the middle is called an orange variant house finch, the more of an orange color, which is pretty a neat, pretty neat capture here. But the first thing I always start with when it comes to telling them apart is that a purple finch looks like someone has taken him by his feet, held him upside down, and dunked him in raspberry Kool-Aid. He has this all over wash, and I hope they can translate in the camera, but you can see the reddish and all the feathers here on the back and down through the wings and all the, the wash on the breast and all through the face. Well, and we're gonna flip over here for a minute, and uh, the house finches are very brown on their back. Where they're brown, they're brown, and where they're red, where they're red, they're red. Um, and the uh, house finch will also have brown stripes down the side 
where the peripheral pages don't. But this is such a neat picture. I wanted to start with this one. And then we're going to go and, uh, to some other pictures. This is a, a nice purple finch. Um, again, that, that purple wash all over its face, all over the sides. And you don't see any brown streaking down the sides here. Let's see. Oh, that poor guy there. We'll get back to him later. Here is a house finch with these brown stripes down the side. See how brown its back is? There's none of that wash. This is one of those orange variant house finches, but you've got the brown stripes down the side. And here is a classic female house finch. She is a very much just striped bird, gray to brown, very uh, lacking really the distinguishing field marks. So this is a classic bird that uh, we see lots and lots of. But let me see if I can't get this to close. Uh, ah, here is a classic house finch. See the brown stripes down the side? Whereas that purple finch, finch did not have those brown stripes. Probably the best way to tell them apart. Male house finches can be so bright red in their color in their face, especially older birds, that it can approach the color of a purple finch, but really never gets there. And whereas brown is brown and whereas red is red, whereas that purple, that purple finch is kind of all over, has that wash to its color. The best way to tell them apart. Now, the... Uh, one of the best ways to tell the two apart is by looking at the females. That female house finch that we saw earlier was so plain and had a lot of stripes on it. But look at this, the, the stripes of the face on the female. The females are much darker in the purple finch world. This is a pur female purple finch. She's darker. She has a stripe through the eye and a stripe uh, on the malar there that the female house finch just doesn't have. Where did they have my female house right there? And you can see her, see how plain she is? And she doesn't have that bold stripe to the eye and the bold stripe down on the malar. So that's a good way to tell them apart. If you see the female purple finches, it leads you to look for the female, I mean the male purple finches. But the, the purple finches are bigger, huskier birds, uh, much more colorful. And we only have them here in winter. So be on the lookout for those. Those house finches are here year round and you probably see them quite often, a lot more. But the females are less boldly marked. The males have the brown striping down the side and they don't have that all over color wash. So hopefully that'll help you separate those two out when you see them at your feeders. So we'll cover other confusing birds in the future. Thanks for the suggestion of that program. Send in more if you will. Give us a like, give us a share. Until then, come by and let's talk birds. Would you like to learn more about wild birds? You might want to hit that subscribe button.